Good morning, elementals. I could be louder, but I'm tired. Um, I am back. My laundry is almost done. Kinda. Uh, alright, so, left off, Mondo punched Makoto in the face. And Mondo is quite vulgar with his words. That's about all you need to know. Okay. So, let's get back to it. I woke up in this room and I need to search it now. Headphones, please work with me. Uh, tab. Let's see. Ooh, lots to look at. Alright. Look at this. There's some kind of metal plate mounted here. Observation there. Bed. <clears throat> there doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. Okay, what is this? It's some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? Good lord. Oh, there's so much to look at. Alright. It looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. What is that thing? It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Jesus. I'm seeing two things here. Some kind of metal plate. Is it keep is it to keep us all trapped in here? Camera. Surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess with the camera, so I'd better make sure I don't touch it. Got a key on the table. Take that. This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain. Which means it must be mine, right? I'd better hang on to it for now. Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartments or anything. Oh! I found one monocoin! <laughs> this would appear to be the bathroom. Huh, it's not opening. I guess it's locked. Kind of weird for your own bathroom to be locked. Some kind of monitor. Ugh. What is that? There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says... Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lockpicking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Which is weird. Like, what if I want to take a bath at midnight or something? <laughs> also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit, and for the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel. And let's all enjoy ourselves. That's weird. I crumbled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Alrighty then. Can I look in there again? Will it do anything? All that's in the trash can is the paper I wanted up and threw away. Okay. Um, I guess the door then? Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? I think I'm starting to understand. So this room must be... Yeah, yeah, it's his dorm. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. The next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. Okay, let's go then. Yes. <clears throat> I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. But there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham. Whoopsies! Oh, 
Sayaka? Sorry. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good then. But are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true, I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Uh, I'm fine, nothing wrong here. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we slip, split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we'd each found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Okay, where is... Whoops. Where is the dining hall? Where am I? This way. This way. Yeet. This must be the dormitory dining hall. Um, it looks pretty clean, so that's good. Alright, I guess that's not really important right now with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> okay, let's just wait here. Huh, you heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. When did you say that? Is that when we first met you said that? I don't remember. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? Okay. Hey, um... By the way, Makoto. Huh, what is it? Um... Well, it's just... I know... I know this is kind of... Continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. Continuing our self-introductions? We kind of got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Saika wants to ask me something? I wonder what it is. No, I'm really curious. Ask her! Hey, um... Um... How do I select the other one? Oh, like that. Okay. What did you want to ask me? Hmm. Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? Were you maybe in class two? Yeah, actually I was. <sighs> I knew it! I went there too! I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was. That she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um... Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there were lots of other students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Aww. What are you talking about? You're so strange. Strange? That's... <laughs> she started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. <sighs> talking to you has made me feel a lot better about this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, I'm really not. 
I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. But you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Huh, my assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it, it just gets me pumped up. Which is nice, but still. <coughs> Everyone else is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock around here somewhere. Well, there's one. Um, so what time is it right now? There's not even any hands on that clock. How can you tell? Seven o'clock at night? Uh, um... You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. Taka threw open the dining hall doors right as Saika said that. Ah, Makoto, Saika, you two got here first, huh? How unfortunate. <sighs> Too bad, I was sure I'd beat everyone here. I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. That's a bit much, don't you think? A little bit. And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered into the dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? What's wrong? What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver-haired girl? Uh, oh yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? Aww. She's not here? What? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um... I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Is it possible? Was she really... No, no, I'm just overthinking things. Darn it, Kyoko, you're really going to be late like this on the first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. Come on. <laughs> You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then, I declare that the first session of a Hope Speak Academy briefing meetings has begun. That is a mouthful. Um... Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. You know... Huh, what's up? I feel like I really have become your personal assistant, don't you agree? I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. Wow, okay. Wait, what was that? Monitor... What is this? I don't think I should leave right now. The atmosphere is unpleasant. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Do I need to talk to him? No. I guess Saika is who I need to talk to because there's nobody else. Okay. Um... Okay, so since you're in. The since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... Byakuya and Taka each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. 
I wanted to try and find some clues as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all from me. Really? That's it? If I'd uncovered anything, naturally I would have more to say. But I didn't. So I don't. Right. Understood. Okay. This is kind of annoying how this is set up. I spent some time looking around the dormitory, and there I made the discovery of the sentry. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. And each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name precision etched into it. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is, in fact, my room. And Chihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. Well, each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. But it looked like there were only locks in the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. But when I checked my bathroom room before, it was it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Hey, come on. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here for a while. Quiet down and listen. Well, better to have than not ha than have not. That was awkward. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. <sighs> that can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honor Student? That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. I'm assuming Sayaka knows. Looks like Leon, Hiro, Junko, and Chihiro all grouped up together. Okay. We went all up and down the school, double checking the windows in all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was... Nothing. Not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope to escape anywhere. School really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, bad, it bad, really bad. sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks. What the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on. Calm down, you're starting to make me nervous. Okay, who's next? Uh, yeah, yeah, the same goes for Hina, Sakura, and Mondo. <coughs> we thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. But we didn't find a thing, sorry. I went back to the main hall thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. But even with Sakura and me both, it wouldn't budge. We hid it with desks and chairs and nothing. It was hard as, like metal. Yes, well, yes, it is metal. Anyway, if we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be through there. I feel like I could just cry. But no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So then. I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there is a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. In other words, at this point, we are only able to search the first floor. We can further assume that there's potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there's at least a chance it may lead to a way out. Okay, who else? Tell me more. Uh... Celeste, Toko, and Hifumi were left over, so they joined up. Let's see. If I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Honestly, we are not exactly the types to go running around a school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> what were you thinking just sitting around the gym the whole time? Well, it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> Forget it. Like I'd want to go anywhere with a dirty slut like you. Mm -hmm. Slut? 
Your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. Are you for real? I, I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Hey, come on. All right, guys. Everybody, just calm down, okay? This is this stress. All this stress is bad for your skin, you know. Aww. Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close. Now you're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Saika. Hey, um. So that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. <sighs> okay, tell me. Um... I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. That's good. I guess we don't have to worry about food, at least. But... Sure, for now, but even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> you can just eat sesame seeds or something. What am I, a parakeet? I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. At least that's what Monokuma said. You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. Told me that, then disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere? I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But, but was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything? Eat her? Um, what do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? You're gross. Oh. Come on, man. Hey, you bastard. <laughs> what the hell, fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Actually. Not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Hey, stop screwing around, all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all die. We could all we could all just die any second. Gosh. Ugh, shit. <sighs> She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something. Or a voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Mm -hmm. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? No. Kyoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. What's this? It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? What, where did you find this? Wow. It doesn't matter where I found it. It does matter. You're really freaking us out right now. More important. Never mind that. What does it mean? It seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out in precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy. It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However, I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um... But then, this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. So stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future... Country's future elite are supposed to come and learn? But, but if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Uh, hey, come on guys, let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put all this together, right? Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out my mouth. You know? Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work out itself. I did not read that correctly. What's your problem? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? I'm just happy, that is all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea, after all. Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We didn't find a way out. We didn't didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. Oh. Is it not crystal clear to you what is going on? Are you okay with this? It's perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. You didn't have to go and say that. I was trying not to think about it. 
no way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Don't even joke about that. Everyone just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... There's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually... Oh, my jaw hurts. As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Oh, huh? what do you mean? Mm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Yep. And sleeping anywhere other than the dorm will be seen as sleeping in class. So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. <laughs> but why? Are you okay with the this? way things are, every time night every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. We will all be afraid someone might try and come kill us. What? If we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preven preventative measure. I can't read. Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's like the little goth Alita said, without something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. What? Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. So everyone is in agreement? Good. <laughs> then if you'll excuse me... Huh? huh? Wait, where are you going? Let's see. It is almost nighttime. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. So goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Um, so, I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what's next? One person already left. Uh... Well, then, what say we call an end to today's meeting? Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can reconvene first thing in the morn first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. This sucks. <laughs> so we just have to give up. And that's all fine and good for today, but what do we do t what do we yeah, what do we do tomorrow? <sighs> so in the end. Our only option is to split up and look around again and let everyone know if we find anything. Mm. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Aww. Then we're done for today? Good. I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um. Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. Back to the room! Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? No, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathrooms should have locks on them, right? Alright, let's open it up. This is no use. It really is locked. Mm. Wrong! Not locked. Holy crap. Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. Like... Some kind of robot bear ghost. What are you doing here? Makoto Naegi, this is super duper majorly bad. So bad it's almost magical. Ultra magical awful awful attack. Uh -huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. 
Wait, so the reason it won't open is because it's locked. It isn't because it's locked, the door just doesn't fit. Okay. Um... Didn't you see the notice? What, can't you read? The bathrooms in the boys' rooms don't have locks. I mean, a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Well, it's not that it's pointless, I guess, but I'm no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. I can't read. Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob, then lift up while you pull. Yes, indeed. Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob and lift the door up while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> See? It opened right up. Isn't that crazy, though? Your door's the only one that doesn't fit quite right. You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not so lucky after all. Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! Hey, wait! Damn it. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. But what if I get hungry? Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. Looks like it's nighttime. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly, I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I'd spent an entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made-up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope Speak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up I'd realize it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher, but when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope's Peak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. Well, see, that sounded kind of nice. <laughs> Oh boy! Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Lovely. Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from there, from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna head to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. What if I don't want to talk to her? I can't even tell... Oh, she's like right next to me. Well, that's nice. There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess I should use that. Ugh. Hello? Good morning, Saika. Perfect timing. Huh? Listen, I have a favor to ask. A favor? I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure. Where are you headed? I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here would could show up and attack us any time. You never know. 
Whoever trapped us here. Whoever presented us with rules for murdering each other. Whoever put us in this insane position. She's right. We never know when they might attack. So I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect yourself. Well, now that I think about it, that display case in the gym entryway had a bunch of stuff. Maybe... Oh, the gym? Okay, let's go! Again? Yeah. Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. You, like, said that exact thing last time. Am I really so easy to predict? Anyway, we should head to the gym. We've got some good news! We can teleport. Sweet. You can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. Plus, you can't teleport to places you haven't been. That makes sense. Try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you could get lost. Forever. Well then, good luck and have fun. Thanks for that. Can I teleport to the gym? How do I teleport? I w wasn't reading that. So... Wait. What? Oh, you're tall. Sorry, I'm probably gonna have this map up like every time I have to go somewhere because I still don't know where everything is. Where are we going? Gym. Where's the gym? I'm confused. What am I looking at? Okay, what is- what is this? Oh. That's the way to go, apparently. Alright. Jim Jim. There's a big Monokuma thing on it. Did I go too far? Yeah. Hey, Toko! I'm not gonna talk to any of y'all, because I don't care. Am I going to- alright. Why is it so hard to... <laughs> Goodness. Alright. There's all kinds of stuff on the shelves up above. Okay. It's a helmet of some sort. Why is something like that on display? Woo! I got another one! A plaque. I guess it's to commemorate some kind of championship. It's a gold statue of Buddha. Why is something like that on display? Ah. Uh, some terracotta clay figures. They don't look like the kind of thing you'd put in a high school gym. Woo! Another one! Look at me, I'm doing so good. Alright. This thing. It's a... sword? Um, no, I think it's just a replica. Still, it's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in a gold coating. But, jeez, I barely touched it and I got that gold stuff all over my hands. Wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um... You should take it with you. It might help liven up your room a little. You think so? <laughs> but I guess you'd better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in a newspaper or something. Just like that, it's been decided. I don't see anything I can really use for self-defense. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. Oh, Makoto, being such a flirt. You'll protect me? Thank you for saying that. If I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Sayaka giggled as she said that. That mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. Okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. 
But what if I don't want to? What if I want to hang out with somebody else? Do I have to talk to you? I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. And I was the one who invited you to come with me, too. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. Stare off into space? Oh, but you're probably super bored just standing around doing nothing. No, it's not that it's boring. It's just... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. I guess that makes sense. You're not you're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but Makoto, do you have a dream? Well, what about you, Saika? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. My dream is, I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know. And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know, so I was really lonely. But then all that changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess. And she could sing and dance. But more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing, though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off of your dream, not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep, to make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. Is it really that tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh no! Oh no, don't get the wrong idea. It's super fun. What? But that's exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh, um... I enjoy it every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why... But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end and everyone goes their separate ways. Saika. She's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. You see. So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, um... Well, they say that if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least, that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. While I'm in here, the world is out there forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still... Saika? I can't afford to be stuck in here! That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds desperate. <sighs> but I can understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here... This way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. Ugh! Excuse me, stretch. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine it. Sorry. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um. I kind of killed the mood, huh? No, not at all. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, Sayaka? Actually, are you hungry? 
Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So, okay. you want me to make us something to eat? I might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil. Do you mean the condiment? <laughs> Just kidding. She burst out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. But how did it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. Okay. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat before returning to our rooms. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. <gasps> Free time! I kind of already... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, yeah. Free time. Spend it with your fellow classmates. Presents. You can get presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store. New info. Yeah. Time will pass when you're finished. Yep. A certain amount of time passes. Free time will come in. The end. Story will progress. If you prefer not to engage in free time, you can always simply choose to go to sleep. But I don't want to spend more time with her. She's kind of annoying. <laughs> She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? No. She would be a much more interesting character if she wasn't so, like, airheaded. <laughs> not to be mean, but I just don't care much about her. She's not that exciting to me. That's not what I meant to push. Um, do I have any presents? I got that one thing somewhere. I guess I have, like, what, three mono coins? So I could go to the store and uh, get something, maybe. Good lord. Uh, proof that you've cleared the prologue. It's a patch that displays Hope's Peak, Hope's Peak Academy School Crest. Okay, well. Uh, who do I want to talk to? I kind of want to talk to Leon, because I want to learn more about him. Weird that it doesn't give her a last name. I don't know. Ooh, talking to Chihiro might be fun. Or Junko. I wonder. I kind of actually want to talk to Junko. Let's do that. Um, let's see here. Um, where is the school store? I think it's in here. There's Junka. She's right there. I want to give her a present, so... Is getting tired from having to sit up here to use a mouse. Um, see, I can't tell. Those are classrooms. That's that thing. Oop, walk too far again. Media room. Store. Yep, this is definitely the school store, but it has a kind of Japanese Western blend. It seems more like a cultured antique store. <gasps> yes! Oh, Mackenzie's home. Vending machine. Guess this must be the school store then. Okay. This 
this? Oh, maybe if I turn the knob, a prize will come out. Give it a shot. Alright, let's give it a shot. I'll do two coins. Ooh, what is that? Okay, we'll do one. Some kind of t-shirt. Ooh! Oh, I got a free one. Some kind of book. recording a video. Oh, what a coincidence! Follow me on Instagram <laughs> at McKinsey Marshall. <laughs> All right. What else I got? What is that? That looks like a hairball. Hmm. How do I leave? Oh, R. That makes sense. probably get going. Yeah, probably. Alright, let me see what I got here. Fresh bindings. Strips of cotton cloth. They're once commonly used for underwear and bandages. They say when you wrap it around yourself, both body and soul become taut. Okay. Limited edition shirt featuring legendary punk rocker Jimmy Decay. Only a hundred were ever made. Who would like that? Maybe Mondo? I don't know. I got something else. Whoop. A dr oh, it's tumbleweed. A dried out plant seen in many western films. If they pile up around your yard, just toss them off a cliff or something. Okay. Nope. A thick tips and tips, a thick book that has hints and codes for every game ever released. A must have for any true gaming fanatic. I know who would like this, but she isn't in this game. She's in the second game. Um Who will Oh uh What's her face would like this? The ultimate programmer. Probably. That's not who we're gonna go see. We're gonna go talk to Junko. And I didn't really get anything that she would like, so... Unless, I mean, I guess I could give her that shirt, but I don't know if I want to do that. Um, let's go back. Despair Hotel. Where are you at? Hey, Junko! Let's talk to you. Aww. Getting stuck in here is like totally disgusting. <sighs> I want to get out of here. Am I not allowed to- are you serious? Aww. Ugh! I don't want to talk to Sayaka. I don't like her. Is she in her room, I guess? I guess I should press the doorbell. You know, Makoto, I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. <gasps> it gives me the option. Am I just not allowed to hang out with Junko, I guess? Well then, what was, um... Chihira, right? That was her name. I don't know. Yeah, Chihira. Are you in your room? This is Chihira's room. I don't really have anything to talk to her about right now. 
Okay, so the game is telling me you only get to talk to Sayaka. Sayaka. I keep saying it differently. Alright. Fine. Are you going to try and cheer me up? Sorry, Sorry for making you take time of your out of your day like this. I did my best to comfort Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. I don't have anything to give you. Um. Makoto? Do you think you could make time for the two of us to talk? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal? Um. Well, it's just... I guess that was kind of formal, but... It's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. If you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. But that's why. I hate that we had to meet again under such awful cer awful conditions, but I'm relieved you're with me. Saika. Standing here face to face and hearing her say that. It's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. Ugh, I, I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. <sighs> really? Thank you for the flattery. Ah, that smile. That mysterious smile that softens my heart. Shut up. She's not that interesting. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. But it's kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were like a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Because I looked at you all the time. Huh? I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? But since I was... Since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But why me? Do you remember during our first year of junior high, that huge bird wandered into the school pond? Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. It was like out of a fairy tale. The turtle... The turtle wants every million years. That bird wants every thousand. A huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year of junior high. I think I'm... Oh god. It might have been a... Well, it wasn't a sparrow. I can't- I don't know which is bigger, a heron or a crane. I wanna say it was a crane? Oh! I was right. It was a crane! It just walked right into the pond. Okay. That's right! That's what it was. It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. But you led it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. Only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school, they made me do it. You see. I should have said thank you then, but is it okay if I do it now? Thank me? I... I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I kind of figured. What? Honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. Uh, um. I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we'd met again at a train station somewhere downtown, that'd make for a nice dramatic reunion. <laughs> but instead, it's this weird school. I... Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find my way out, just like that crane. You'll save me. You see. It's just intuition, you know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best, I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Like I said, I'm psychic. Sure you are. <laughs> kidding, kidding. She laughed out loud as she said it. The closer we get, the stronger that smile of hers makes me. Did I read that right? I don't know. I was glad to feel that way. 
Melodious voice. Oh, my jaw hurts. I think part of it is because of these headphones, because they're kind of big on my, my head. <sighs> Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. He says the same thing. This day's already come to an end. But I swear, tomorrow I'm going to find some kind of clue. I swear. Ugh. As my eyelids began to, sl to slide close, the conversation I'd had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her de desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did, so I can't say I feel things the way she does. Compared to her, no, compared to everyone else here, there's no doubt I just don't match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. Oh my goodness. Ahem. So, I'm sure that you've noticed the killing game has begun, but there's still room for a little laughter. It seems our newest students, already so filled with despair, still have some hope of escape. So, when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Okay, yep. Ready. Yep. Yep. <sighs> okay. I think that's enough for this one. Because my jaw hurts and I'm kind of tired. And Mackenzie just got home from work and I haven't really seen her since I've been back from Indiana. So I'm going to go talk to her for a bit. <sighs> So that being said, this is the end of part three, I think, I don't know, whatever, um, things are going smoothly, I guess, I really don't want to keep talking to Sayaka, because, like, I know her deal, she's just not the most interesting character, I don't feel like, but whatever, you know, the, the, um, story has to be told, and um, Makoto and Saika are apparently, like, heavily shipped from the d developers, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. Um, save real quick. So, that's it for this one. See you next time.